We're the founders of Citizen Cosmetics and we're sisters. I'm Nasiha, I lead product development and creation. I'm Alina, I lead branding and marketing. And I'm Elise, and I lead operations and logistics. How is it ladies? You're all sisters, you're working together. I mean, are you are you bossy? You boss them around or, or, or does this become like a collaborative kind of um, environment? I feel like it's definitely collaborative. In the beginning, obviously it's hard when you just start working with siblings. It was a lot of, you know, back and forth trying to understand like how to work with each other because we've never worked in like a work setting together. Mm -hmm. But um, I think now we've really managed and the best part of working together is that we have the same vision for the brand and we're always on the same page when it comes to creatives or anything. Yeah, and I feel like we also understand that we have different work love languages. So understanding that first, I think was really helpful and like knowing how to communicate with each other. Yeah. Um, and we even have two WhatsApp group chats. So one is just for work and then one is for personal so that we don't mix that up because we want to make sure that when we're engaging in a work way, it's more professional and like, you know, in a certain way. And of course, like while we're fighting in one group chat about work on the other chat, we're like, what should we order for dinner tonight? So <laughs> that's just what it's like being sisters. But like Nasia said, we never disagree on bigger things like the vision, which is the most important. It's more small bickering as siblings do. And if you don't, you're weird. <laughs> so why makeup lady? I've always been obsessed with makeup ever since I was younger. I would always make them be my music and I would just do makeup on them. I do it on my friends and since such a young age. So for me, it was in me from the start. Um, and then it kind of just became a bigger conversation between um, my sisters and I of why we wanted to start this. We just never really resonated with one brand in the industry. And I feel like a lot of people of color can feel the same way and it's quite relatable, but there is no one in campaigns that look like us shade ranges we'd always have to mix different pigments to get our perfect desired shade and we just didn't feel like we are being supported by beauty brands and we're big beauty consumers our culture is big beauty consumers right. but we didn't feel the love back so i think that kind of sparked um, a bigger conversation of wait we should do something about this we didn't create a brand just for our demographic it's by south asians for everyone because the whole point is it just being equally recognized and equally acknowledged and not siloed um, yeah. once again, so. And that's also why our advisory board is full of different kinds of people, because we know that we're only representing maybe a certain demographics. So we wanted to make sure we're getting advice from different age demographics, different other races and um, gender. So I think that also really helped us get that full picture too. Where does your inspiration come from? Such a good yeah, question. Yeah. So many different people. I think definitely our dad is one of them because he's always been like a serial entrepreneur and he never made us think that we couldn't do something like this. Like he always had yeah. that big belief that, oh, we can definitely accomplish starting a brand and like doing the research ourselves because we're also new to this industry when we first started. So he had no doubt in us, which I think is a huge like factor in starting something. Yeah, that was amazing. And then also I just, I feel like our family in general, especially the women in our family, they're all busy. We come from a business family. So mm -hmm. that's always been amazing. Just when we were younger, listening in on their conversations and all the deals that they're, you know, talking about. And I feel like that was inspiring. And I think that's what gave us the push to do a business together because it's kind of been ingrained in us since we were young. Um, so yeah, I definitely would say like the woman in our family, and of course, my dad, um, are inspiration. Yeah, sure. I was gonna add to the women in our family component. I think it's interesting because we actually had a matriarch of the family where yeah. it was actually very much like our grandmother was a dominant figure of the family. So yeah. it was very female oriented. If anything, the men are outnumbered in our family. <laughs> <laughs> so we come from a strong female business-minded family and I think that does make you a specific type of person yeah. where you do want to be yeah. kind of like like I don't know very like startup oriented very like hustle driven so I think that's a unique experience in its own. How do you guys stand out? We're a global mission driven brand and if you look at a lot of the global cosmetics brands that have gotten reached they're all very much product driven but for us mission driven is not just the shade range it's actually our deeper reason for existing is to enhance and amplify cultural awareness through beauty. So it's something that we're growing a lot more that you'll see much more frequently on our socials but we actually trademarked and invented a term called culture tutorial. So it's where culture meets makeup tutorial. So how did you guys come up with a name? I always felt like third culture kids because we were born in LA, but then 
re really young, we moved to Dubai in 2003 and we ended up growing up there, but then we studied in London and then we you know, studied in California. So we never resonated with one culture. And so we just felt yeah. like Sydney encompasses someone that doesn't always resonate with one place, but is just of the world. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how it came about. What is next, guys? We are getting out of the lip category and we're entering the eyes. So that's really exciting because um, so far we've kind of mastered the lips. Um, so now we're doing something a bit different, which I can't say too much now, but it will be okay. launching in May, which is very exciting, close to our four year anniversary for the brand. So yeah, and it's really exciting. It's our first part that we created with Sir John, who's our chief creative officer, and he's a celebrity makeup artist. He's amazing. Um, so it's really exciting because we got to kind of pick his brain and get in, like get his creative juices, juices flowing. So yeah, we're really excited about that. Ladies, I'm, I'm so um, proud of you guys for just doing this and just, you know, keeping at it. You ladies are really making a mark. And it's exciting as a South Asian woman to see other South Asian women, you know, doing something, again, completely out of the box, taking a chance and really, you know, making a product that's doing very well, knock on wood, you know? And I'm excited for you guys to just continuously grow. Thank you so yeah, thank much. Thank you so much. Yeah.